Hey guys, welcome back to My Singing Monsters. Anniversary month is here and it is a big one. This is the 10th anniversary of My Singing Monsters and they have added so much content in this update. For example, guys, take a look at this. Is that not the most beautiful thing ever? Every single monster on Plant Island is available right now. So I'm super excited guys because almost every island in this game right now has something I can breed that I haven't bred before. And there's a brand new never before seen monster that just came out in this update. So what we're gonna do today guys is go to each island and breed at least one new monster. But don't worry because we're gonna save the best for last. I say we're saving the best for last, guys, but I guess that does depend on who you ask, because personally, one of the monsters I'm most excited about right now is the rare Ent Brat. So that's what we're gonna get first. Honestly, guys, I just really like the Ent Brat, okay? I mean, look at this guy. He is amazing. Such a cheerful little dude with uh, the voice of an angel. Guys, what the heck is this right here? Promo. For a limited time, enjoy plus 200% increased breeding chances for mythicals on the natural islands. Hmm. Okay, I wanted to look it up and see because I wasn't sure which of the monsters are actually mythical monsters. Until this update, there was actually only two, and now there's three. So uh, the new guy will be a little easier to get. So that's nice. Let's go ahead and try and get our uh, rare Ent Rat, which means we just have to combine anything that'll give you an Ent Rat and you just have to hope that you don't get an Ent Rat. All right, guys, I gotta take a quick detour to my most depressing island, okay? Celestial Island, there's only one guy on here. I mean, he's having a good time. Just shaladum dumming, but that's all we got. So I'm just gonna collect these guys real quick so I can zap the things I don't want into them. Oh, what it, bruh. There is a party on Gold Island, guys. Wow, look at that, balloons. They're floating away! 10, look at that guys, there's a little, a little 10 gem on this uh, giant's head. What are the ancients or something? Whatever they're called, there's a 10 on his head. Cause you are a 10 out of 10. Oh, what's this, 23 diamonds? Yeah, baby! Got a rare Ent Brat. Check this dude out. Oh! Oh! He's beautiful, man. I think he might be the most beautiful Ent Brat of them all. Even though, well, okay, I don't even have anything good to say about Epic Ant Brat, guys. He's disgusting, okay? He looks like he's about to die. <laughs> Here, maybe you can uh, bring some life into the, the, the Epic Ant Brat by standing next to him. You know, maybe he'll feel a little bit better. Wait a minute, guys. Is this the same dude? It is, isn't it? It's an overgrown version of the rare. Because his, his, his antlers are almost the same, and his leaves are the same color, it's just that most of them have disappeared. Okay. Well, well, well. So this is basically the, like, well-kept version uh, of this guy. <laughs> well, actually, he's got a couple of extra teeth, so that's impressive. As if Ant Brats weren't impressive enough already, the rare Ant Brat sports vibrant autumnal foliage and eye-catching horn extensions. Reports suggest that this uncommon morph is at least marginally smarter than its regular counterpart, but don't hold your breath waiting for it to score well on any intelligence test. Ouch! Did you have to do my boy Gruff like that? Okay guys, I just need to look at this here, okay? Cause I wanna see if they mention the fact that he's basically a rare. Oh wait, this guy is actually perfectly healthy, guys. It may be pale, frail, and honestly a little creepy, but this is simply the appearance of a monster that prefers the comforting darkness of a cozy cabin to the shining rays of the great outdoors. Okay, so he's a, her a hermit version of the rare Ant Brat, guys. He, he went off and, and he's all alone in a cabin somewhere and his hair's falling out. Let's just check, guys. I might want to breed like one more while we're here, okay? How hard would it be for me to get the epic guest? Oh, 2,000 diamonds if I want to buy it. Oh man, I want it, but I don't know how badly I want it. Okay, I am prepared to hurt a little bit, guys, but I am gonna try and get this thing. Uh, a rare, do I have a rare T-Rox already? Is that a thing? No, I don't, okay. Oopsie daisies, got myself a rare T-Rox. Didn't even know I needed it. Oh, guys, I actually got an epic guest. Well, I thought that was gonna be 
harder than it was, guys. I thought I was really gonna struggle and waste diamonds trying to get this guy. I feel like you need to go up on the opposite corner of the other ghast, okay? So we'll move our little time machine somewhere else. There you go. If ghasts are known for their ability to slide in conspicuously between dimensions, then the fearsome looking epic ghasts are known for their difficulty in living up to that reputation. The epic ethereal possesses several traits that make interdimensional travel a bother. A bad to the bone skeleton that seldom attains full intangibility, dual ended horns that catch on the edge of dimensional portals, and optical plasmic orbs that get easily distracted. When it finally settles into a habitat it finds comfortable, you'd be hard pressed to flush out this hard headed monster. Okay, yeah, cause he, cause he has trouble going places, okay? He's got mobility issues, poor thing. His little orbs are, I don't even know what the heck they're supposed to be, but I hate them. So as I said, guys, we're saving the best for last, which means we're skipping over Coal Island for now and going right to Air Island. Here is what's currently available on Air Island. I can't say there's a ton here that I want, guys, but uh, I am really interested in the Epic Maw. I don't think I have one of these anywhere, and I also wouldn't mind having another Epic T-Rox, because he looks so cool. Guys, this Epic Ma really took away some of my diamonds, man, but here he is. He is just absolutely glowing. Look at that. What, what it, what are those? Let's put him off by himself so we can take a nice good look at him. If I even want to do that, I'm not really sure. I don't, I, something, something creeped me out about the way this guy sings, man. Okay. Uh, Maws are sensory creatures that always have an ear to the ground, so to speak. From the pronounced taste buds and sensitive fur of common ma to the keen eyesight of its rare cousin. Similarly, Epic Ma is gifted with another valuable sense. Smell! They done gave this guy a nose! With every epic nose comes the constant threat of sinus infections, but also the savory scent of freshly baked treats. Okay, they really don't say enough about this guy. I wanna, I wanna know what this is on the side of him, guys. Why does he have these little like throbbing holes? You know, you know what? Don't even, don't even tell me. I don't think I want to know the answer. Oh, guys, my first try, and I got an epic T-Rex with a costume. I don't know what kind of costume he's got. Okay. I already have one of these guys, so I was just gonna go for the regular t rocks but if this guy wants to be, you know, an alien from the Alien movies, he can go right ahead, I suppose. It looks pretty cool. All right, you're gonna hang out here with the Epic Ma, because I'm hoping that you standing next to him might take away from how disgusting he is. Next up, we got ourselves Water Island. Thanks for the two and a half million dollars, dude. So, we already have a lot of stuff here, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This is all that we have, but because there are a couple of new things here, I am gonna get one of them. Cause I said that's what I'm doing on each island I can. This is the rare toe jammer, and he's not in the star shop this time, so I can actually get him. Guys, this is one of those weird breeding combinations where instead of just breeding like a normal toe jammer and hoping you get a rare, you have to breed two, three elements together with an overlapping water element. Whoa, there we go, okay. See guys, I worked kind of hard to make this island look nice. What do you think? I bunched up a bunch of stuff. Um, and now we've got these three dudes down here. You guys are a complete package now. What's his name? Gmo? Oh, like, uh, like, like the French word for, um, uh, marshmallow. I guess it's actually Gmo, guys. I think that's how you pronounce the word marshmallow in French. I've only ever seen it on packaging in Canada because everything has English and French on it. So I'm not sure. Next up. Earth Island! What do we got? I'm pretty sure everyone I see here right now is uh, already on at least one of my other islands. So I'll go for, let, let's let's go for this guy because I've always thought he looked pretty freaking cool. The Epic Shrub! Just gonna go ahead and pop you down and move on, buddy. So uh, enjoy. All right, next up guys, Fire Haven. And of course there's a tring <laughs> waiting to be hatched. I have too many of them already. All right, question is, what are we breeding? Oh, I know what we're breeding here, guys. I actually want to breed two things here, okay? Because what is this? The epic stog is the most horrendous thing ever. I need it. And also, I just love epic Kana, guys. She looks so awesome. So I'm going to get these two 
funky creatures. What's this? The epic stog! All right. Seriously, is this guy like part robot or something? Like he looks kind of evil to me, you know? What is what is that on his back? Is that a radar? I think it might be a radar, like a sonar sort of deal. What? What's going on? Epic Stogs are practitioners of an arcane self-reinvention technique known only as Stegosynth. Hmm. It's said to be an instinctual knowledge embedded deep within the lineage of all Stogs, but that only certain individuals of the species can retrieve it. The outcome of embracing the Stegosynth is a transformation that shepherds in great physical changes, most notably to the familiar waveform that runs along the flank and tail of the monster. Even though they may not look it, their puffy toes are perfect for digging up terrain and helping plant seeds in the ground, inviting the designation of best in sow. Their only downside is that they keep trying to make fetch happen. Really? Okay. I want to see what he does when he starts playing the music. Oh, okay, so he has this sort of thing on the back that lights up, just like the other dude here. And instead of having this little zappy thing, he's got some other sort of thing. That is a rare stog. I was not trying to get a rare stog, but I will take it. It's honestly one of my least favorite monsters in the whole game, guys. I just think it looks kind of ugly. <laughs> and there we go. Epic Kana, guys. I just, I love Epic Kana. I mean, how could you not love her? She looks like, sort of like a gargoyle, and she does look evil, but in like a cool way. All right, guys, so now we're moving on to Fire Oasis, and I think we're probably past the halfway point for uh, islands we have to go to today. So I just want to quickly say, if you're enjoying this video, I would absolutely love it if you smash the like button. And also, if you're not subscribed and you want to see the future episodes of My Seeing Monsters that I upload, please consider hitting the subscribe button. There's so much content in this update, it's going to take me a few videos. Okay, so on this island, guys, there is also an Epic Kana available, so I think I'm just gonna go for that again, because Epic Kana is epic. What's this? Oh my god, of course it's a Snizer. I don't even want to be here now, guys. I'm I'm regretting coming here, because I just, I forgot how awful this island can be. I don't want, I, mm, I, nope, no, I don't really want to waste all my diamonds on this. 12 diamonds, okay, we got it. So we only had to waste a little bit, that's not so bad. All right, there we go, guys. We got ourselves an epic cana. What's next? Light Island. Bring on the good monsters. Bring on the monsters that I don't have yet. I'm gonna try and breed myself a rare cana, guys. And that's gonna be another one of those weird combinations where you do two triples with an overlapping fire. All right, guys, I've changed my mind. I don't want to try and get a rare cana because it is really draining my diamonds. So let's go for something simpler. Okay, I just bred like 20 normal fur corns before I got a rare fur corn, guys. But we did it, okay? I wanted to at least get one, okay? So, so there you go, little buddy. You got yourself a friend. Moving on to Psychic Island. What do you got for me? It's like the same things again and again. I guess I'll get another Epic Kana? Oh, they're gonna get me good with this, aren't they, guys? They're gonna get, get me a bunch of gloptics. That's what's gonna, oh, God. You know, it's gonna make me money in the long run, right? But. Dang, all right. Gosh, this game is evil, guys. I don't want an army of Gloptics. <laughs> Cancel, forget about Epic Kana here. Okay, I got myself a rare pot belly, guys. I'm dying over here, okay. The further I get into the islands, the more they just suck all my diamonds away. Congratulations, now you have somebody next to you to feel jealous of. Next up, Fairy Island, guys. What's on Fairy Island? All this stuff, hmm. Hmm, I'm just buying a rare drumpler. Okay, I'm just straight up buying a rare drumpler so I don't have to keep doing this. I'm getting so disappointed. Here, I have to go. Next up, Bone Island. The, the whole island is available, guys. I feel like I should uh, take some time in a future episode to complete the whole thing. There's some really cool stuff here. I want this guy, the rare hollow. He looks so freaking cool. We're basically just breeding a regular hollow, Canon Clacula, and hoping for the best. Ladies and gentlemen, the rare hollow. Seriously, I really like the color of this guy. Woo! Okay, he looks evil too, but in a cool way. Okay, him and Epic Cana could be good friends, and she does exist on this island, so that's cool. I'm not gonna try and get her now, okay? Like I said, guys, I might have to do like a video on this island, completing the whole thing. Might as well upgrade this castle while I'm here. There we go, okay. 
And there it is. Boom. Got yourself a friend. Living so far underground has its downsides, and one of those is seldom, if ever, seeing the sky. The striped subspecies of Hollow, seeking to make the dimly lit ambiance of Bone Island more comfortable for all monsters, crafts its disguise from the azure wood tree. Staring at the grain of the wood produces a mesmerizing effect that uh, mimics the actual blue sky. This is the first time I've ever seen uh, a spelling error in this game. Mimics the actual blue sky far above, but staring for too long induces a suggestible hypnotic state in some. Best enjoyed in moderation. Okay. That's a little worrying, but I like it. And his name is Na Navy, cause he's blue. Okay, definitely gotta come back here, guys, but let's move on to Sugarbush Island. What you got on the Sugarbush Island, man? Just a couple of little dudes here, eh? Yeah? I want one of these, an epic octopus. Give me an epic octopus. Ladies and gentlemen, the epic octopus. I have at least one of these already, but uh, I think he's my favorite octopus. Pathogeny, that's his name, like pathogenic, like like this guy has a disease. Great. All right, guys, we're at Seasonal Shanty. We're getting there. Uh, in this one, we can get this guy, which I already have on another island, or this guy, who I don't have anywhere, Epic Punkleton. He's okay, yep, I could, I could go for that. Oh, God. Guys, this is not gonna be good. It costs a lot of money to fail doing this. We're doing schmoochel and blabbit, and I'm probably just gonna get schmoochels and blabbits. Oh my. I'm running so low on diamonds, guys. Please feed my diamond addiction by hitting the like button and watching this video all the way to the end. Thank you. Wait a minute, guys. I can go to Plant Island and get myself an epic punkleton and then send them over. I think this will probably be a better way to do it, okay? And brat and drumpler. Okay, failing on this island, guys, cost me one diamond. Failing on the other island cost me approximately 30 to 40 diamonds. I like this more. Okay, guys, I have tried like 30 times now to try and get this guy. You know what I'm gonna do instead? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do instead. I'm gonna take Gord and I'm gonna teleport him to Seasonal Shanty. Boom! Now we have a rare Punkleton on Seasonal Shanty and I've completed what I was supposed to do. Sort of. Okay? All right. Whew. All right, guys, Ethereal Island. What do we have here? The Epic Ghast. Right. I'll give it a couple tries, but I feel like it might be better to teleport it like the other one. Guys, it'll cost way too many diamonds to try and do this here. I'm gonna do what I did with the Punkleton and just send them over. Your services are needed somewhere else, okay? So, uh, it's been nice having you here, but goodbye. <laughs> Could it be, guys? Did we actually get through all the islands? This is the last one, and there's nothing I can do here because there's no rare flute fly at the moment. So I think that means we can finally go to Cold Island. I'll be honest, guys, I didn't think it was gonna take me an hour and 20 minutes to get this far into the video, but we did get a lot of really cool monsters, and now we're gonna get the coolest one of them all. This is the collection right now, guys, but we don't care about all this stuff. We just want the mythical. I'm surprised this guy only costs 225 diamonds to buy, guys, but I'm still gonna try and breed him. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. You've bred Strombonin. Okay. I don't know what this guy's gonna sound like. I think he's gonna be kind of like a trumpet because he has like a conch or something. And apparently this guy was actually inspired by the community. Okay. Okay. All right, buddy. Where do you want to go? Oh, are you? Nope. 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 Let's just let's get you in here. Get you in here. Get you some food. Okay, Shimura. Have some food, Shimura. Okay, guys. So this is like a unicorn with armor, and he has a conch with a little four-eyed snail friend inside of it. I like it. Oh. Yeah. This dude is absolutely pelting it out! Okay. That is so good. I feel bad for the snail a little bit. Yo! Perfect. Dude! That was the most epic thing ever. Okay. Wow, and I think, actually guys, this might be the entire song on this island. I guess I technically already had it before they introduced this guy, but now I got it again! 
Designed in partnership with the My Singing Monsters community. How great is that? This mythical shares many traits with a certain fire monster, but its preferred habitat couldn't be more different. The masterless Strombonin is a drifter, well and truly as it drifts upon the ice flows that surround Cold Island. The only company it typically keeps is that of a specialized cold weather snail called the Strombone, whose pallial lungs possess unique musical qualities. Albeit being stoic and reserved itself, the hexapod's presence is unmistakable when it bellows forth rebellious decibels with the help of its mollusk companion. That was a mouthful. So guys, I find it kind of weird that this little snail guy is called the Strombone, but this guy's called Strombonin. So he's a thing that Strombones, I guess? <laughs> kind of makes sense? All right, guys, well, that just about does it. We're gonna do one more thing, okay, before we end this video, but I gotta say, I really like this guy. I think he sounds amazing. The one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change my, uh, my little moniker thing. I don't know how to do that, but you can apparently do it. Moniker. There we go. What do I want to be? I think, guys, I want to be the great Smunkin. I don't know what a Smunkin is, but that's what I am now. All right, guys, so that's it for this episode of My Singing Monsters. We've got lots more content to come. We didn't even go to Amber Island today because Amber Island is going to require a lot of work. But there are a bunch of monsters that I don't have yet on there. So that'll be happening soon. And also, as I said, we're probably going to complete Bone Island soon, considering everything that we need to complete it is already ready to go. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.